Hi, I'm Joe from the Greenfield Music Center. Today's concept is a little different than what our normal lessons are here on the kit. It has to do more with what's in your stick bag. What do you need at the gig? Drumsticks, of course. As you can see, there are a few other things in here. Uh, Vic Firth has been kind enough to print up my own signature sticks. Uh, my, my neat little name on there for me. Very kind company, totally based on how I teach and who I teach, who you guys are, or will be, possibly. Aside from those sticks, what other sounds can we produce? We have the rutas. Uh, I used to call them roots. I was corrected by Rudy in California. Uh, they are rutas. We have another kind of wooden dowel rods. We have the uh, Steve Smith hollow wand. They've got foam in the middle of them for yet a different sound. Wire brushes, if you've never played with these, get some. You need them. He did uh, Steve Gadd uh, 70, I think Vic First 70th anniversary that are slightly bent at the end already for you because you'll do that to them yourself. Be very careful with them, they will poke you. Now, that's kind of some of the obvious stuff. Here's a couple of things I've learned as I've gone along. People want drumsticks. They'll always come to the stage and they'll ask you for drumsticks. Over here, Sometimes sticks go bad or feel rubbery, very rarely from this company, but when they do, they go in this compartment over here, and those are my giveaway sticks. When people want sticks, there you go. Never leave home without at least a dozen of these little guys, drum keys. When I do a gig, I'll take two out, because what happens, one hits the floor and falls into that same dimension that the socks go in when you only have the one sock in the dryer. They disappear. Moving as quick as I can, because I've got a bunch of stuff in here. Sharpies, can never have too many of these. For signing t-shirts, CDs, drawing on your bandmates when they're sleeping, extra batteries. Um, I am a singing drummer. This is very important to me. If I'm not using my band's own sound equipment, well, this is a different compartment, we'll get to that in a moment. I have, uh, we're not using our own PA, I don't want to put my mic on my mouth on someone else's microphone. Lord knows where it's been. My own nice clean microphone good with me everywhere. Normally I've got a case, but again, if we're not using them. Uh, cymbal felts. Never know when one of these is going to go bad or hit the floor. Earplugs. Tools. Tape for when you bang your knuckles. A music light for when you're in the dark that apparently needs batteries. I'm glad I saw that. Oh, no, we're, we're good. We're all good. And just basic tools. Little things you might need for broken pedals, whatnot. More earplugs. A dart I use for throwing at my singer when she hits a bad note. It's plastic, of course. More earplugs and an assortment of tapes, cloth tapes, things like that. You just never know what you're gonna need. Lip balm. Uh, hand sanitizer, you're going to shake a lot of hands. Sometimes they're gross, so sometimes it's mine they're gross from digging through my stick bag. But that's just basically a look at what goes to every gig with me in this one bag. Uh, Mr. OCD has got an extra everything in his truck. Uh, one local drummer, John Gray, once commented he thought that I kept an extra truck in my truck. That's not a bad idea. So once again from Greenfield Music Center, that's what's in my stick bag, what's in yours. Get in here in the shop, find, your, find yourself some neat toys. Take care.